the medicine in the method goes to sit on the egg. Yes. So in that case, the egg will not come out to meet a sperm mm -hmm. to, to form pregnancy. Yes, yeah. You understand? So if the egg doesn't come out, will it be straight? people welcome back to my channel this is your girl with very what you do if you're an old subscriber thank you so much for the support thank you for always coming back if you are new here i am a youtuber based in accra ghana do well to join this family by subscribing to my channel and sharing the videos with friends and family don't forget to like this video okay so today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic a topic that a lot of people don't like to talk about but guess what? I've got you. Today is the 26th of September 2020 and it is the World Contraceptive Day. I want to seize this day, seize this opportunity to talk about this, okay? These are things that we never get to talk about in the open. I don't really know what the reasons are, but today I have with me a medical professional, a midwife with so much years of experience in the field of family planning and I believe contraception is part of family planning, right? That's, that's true. Alright, so she's going to take us to what family planning is. We can narrow it down to contraception, the types and the side effects, all the good stuff. So if you are interested in this topic, do well to stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Welcome Elon. Thank you. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for your Say hi to my viewers. Thank you for having me. Hi viewers. I have been watching the videos and they are quite interesting. Thank you. Anyway. I hope you are liking all of them. Right? Yes, yes I do. Of well. course I do. I share. Course, I share. I share with a couple of my friends. With, with, um, with some of my friends actually. Great. Yeah. Oh, I already start making money. I can't be searching. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's fine. <laughs> Even for me, I got to know about contraception and family planning very, very late in life. There are a lot of myths and misconceptions out there. So it's so difficult for you to open up and find out more about this topic. So today in Ghana, I believe a lot of people or, you know, majority of the population might have heard about family planning or contra contraception, sorry, or might even know something about it, but then I learned the usage of contraception in Ghana is very, very low. Well. What right. contributes to this? Well, data has it that about 22% of Ghanaian population in their productive life mm -hmm. are using family planning. Mm -hmm. That means that over 70% out there are not using family planning. But they are That's sexually doesn't... active. Exactly. So those in their productive bracket, bracket, that also does not mean that they might not have heard, they might have heard something about it. Uh, probably of um, misconceptions and what people are saying, what they feel about it, and um, experiences that they've seen their friends go through because of using contraceptives. Mm -hmm. It's one of the major reasons why they might want to pull back mm -hmm. and, and not come for the services. So, yeah, the usage is low. So, the, um, what we need to do is to create more awareness do more education and then see if we can come up. Of course, we are coming up because um, in 2014, what the data said was 22%. Yeah. Yes, but in this year, or going for it, when the new data comes out, I'm sure the number is going to increase. All right, babe. so then take us to what is family planning, what is contraception? We want to know, we are interested, aren't we? So family planning is the ability of individuals and couples to decide freely and responsibly on whether they would want to have a family, when they would want to start, when they will finish, how many children they want to have, how they want to space them. Mm -hmm. So all these are the components of that makes family planning. Okay. okay. So when I said individuals and couples is very important, that means that it's not only for those who are married. So the usage of different methods or devices to stop or space pregnancy mm -hmm. is what we call contraception. So artificial methods or other methods that we use to space our pregnancies or to delay birth, mm -hmm. they are what 
the usage and so we don't as artificial that. methods or natural methods are also found in planning. That's, that's yes, interesting. Yes, yeah. very interesting. Yeah. So, so the thing is, we call them modern contraceptives mm -hmm. because there is data on how effective it is and their side effects, how it's going to work for you, and all that. There's, so, so that's why we call them modern contraceptives. Yes. And we also said individuals and couples. So it's not only for married couples. Not at all. There's a misconception out there that family planning is just for uh, married couples. So we are. So I said, family planning is a bigger umbrella. Mm -hmm. So it's even used to achieve pregnancy. But sometimes yes. or for some people. Yeah. So we really? now yes. So now we are trying to zoom down to start using more of the word contraception because mm -hmm. a young lady might walk into my facility and if you start saying family planning, you will be like. Me older, yeah. I haven't been there before. And they think, because of the word family planning, they think it's for those who have already had families. But seriously, it's not like that. It's very safe for those who have not even had children, mm -hmm. but are sexually active. Mm -hmm. And they want to wait a bit before they start. Or prevent unintended pregnancies. So at what age can you take a, a contraception or a family planning option? Okay, so... Age is somewhere, I can't say this age or that age, but the reproductive age starts from 15. So, to dodge that question, let me say that once you are sexually active, active yes. exactly, once you are sexually active and you do not want to have an unintended pregnancy, then sweetheart, the, the wisest choice for you is to have a family planning option or to have a contraception option from a very reliable place and then that will save you all the stress of thinking of ah, having an abortion and all that so let's narrow it down to contraception because today is the word contraception thing what are the types of contraceptives we have in Ghana? we also have the natural methods but the ones that we call the modern contraceptives are the ones we're going to talk about here okay we have the permanent methods just as the meaning permanent methods and it's irreversible, you know. so once it's done for you, you will not be able to achieve pregnancy again. Wow. We have for men, we have for women, for the male, I mean for the men, we call it vasectomy. That's a, that's a minor procedure that is done to cut the, there's a small tube in the testes that carries sperm from somewhere to somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we cut that tube, the tie that cuts it. Okay, so that one, when it's being done, you can, it's permanent, it's not reversible. Okay. okay. Then we also have the one for the female, it's called bilateral tubal ligation. So that one also, there's a small tube that carries the egg from somewhere to enter the, the womb. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that small tube that carries the egg is also tied and cut, there's also cut. That's also irreversible. So we are all permanent methods for both males and females. Mm -hmm. We also have the long acting reversible contraceptions. We call them LAX. So for the LAX, they are reversible. Mm -hmm. So among the LAX, we have they are also long term. Mm -hmm. There is also short term. So for okay. the long, long term, what do you mean by long term? Okay, so long term, which means that they can you can use it for a period, for a longer period. Okay. okay. So the for the long of year protected is longer compared to the short term. Let's say that. Yes. Long term, the long those that work for a longer period. I'm going to show you something. I have samples here I want to show you. This one is called IUD. Mm -hmm. IUD. Okay. Can you listen? IUD. Okay, so this is called an IUD. So it's a flexible, it's very flexible. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's T in shape. This one, somebody who has been trained, you insert it into your womb. This is how the womb is. This is where we all lay before when our parents were pregnant. This is where we all lay. So we insert this one into the womb and then it stays like this. Mm -hmm. It can be here for as long 
people are still okay. Wow. However, anytime the individual wants to take it out, mm -hmm. anytime you can take it out. And once you take it out, it's little return. You can return to your fertility. You can get pregnant anytime you take it out. So will these strings be hanging out like okay. this? So these strings will be tucked in or it will be cut, depending on what you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one does not is only to protect against pregnancy and does not protect against the child. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. So if so, you are, if you have this and you are still having um raw sex or you don't use the condom, that means you are still prone to sexually transmitted diseases. So this method is only to protect you against pregnancy. Yeah. It's very safe, 99% effective. effective. Can be there for as long as 12 years. However, any time you want to take it off, the provider will take it for you. Mm. Like I said, it's supposed to be inserted by a trained provider. Are you okay? Okay. Wow. Right. I'm learning. <laughs> we also have the implants. The implants work for five years. There are others that work for four years and others that work for three years. So this one, this is how the implants look like. They are rods, flexible rods, just like my stick. They are rods. So when it's two, you can do this. Put them in your hand and then they will focus in the box. Mm -hmm. So this is how the implants look like. Great. Okay. So there are two plastic rods. Mm -hmm. Very flexible. You see, um, I can bend it. It's very flexible. This one, we have some that works for five years, which is called Jadel. Mm -hmm. We have some that works for four years, which is called Zarin. We have some that work for three years, which is called Implant with NXT. Our implant. Okay. So what happens is that this one is is inserted under your skin. It's very cosmetic. Mm -hmm. So this one is inserted under your skin. Wow. And it can protect you from pregnancy by again not against sexually transmitted infections. Okay. Is it painful? It's a minor procedure within three minutes, within five minutes, it's done. Okay. So, but before they give it to you, they would have to give you an anesthesia, some a local anesthesia, so that you don't feel the pain. Wow. So, the jadal, this is the jadal, this is how the jadal looks like. Mm -hmm. This one protects you for five years. Then we have the zari. Mm -hmm. It's also two rows like this. It also protects you for, five, for four years. We also have the implant on NXT. That, that one is only a rod, mm -hmm. but that one protects you for three years. Mm -hmm. okay. but, again, but again, like I said, it does not protect against sexually transmitted infections. Mm -hmm. okay. We also have the short acting, the short stems. Mm -hmm. And these ones work within a period of three to one month. Mm -hmm. We have what we call cyanopress. This is how it looks like. Cyanopress. Very beautiful. It works for three months. Mm -hmm. Okay, it protects you Very from pregnancy. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it protects you from pregnancy from for three months. Yeah. We also have the Depot Provera. Mm -hmm. Depot Provera. Mm -hmm. It also gives you a protection. It also gives you a protection for three months. All right. We also have the monthly injection. Mm -hmm. It protects you for one month. The original. We have the microgenome pills. It also protects you for one month. Okay. okay. Then the chief of all, yeah. the one that gives us to our protection yeah. from both sexually transmitted infections as mm -hmm. well as pregnancy. pregnancy is our good friend condom. Mm -hmm. It's condom. So here we have the male condom. Mm -hmm. There is it. Mm -hmm. So you take it from Wash your hand. Yes. So you take from the, the rough yeah. side. Very easy. Mm -hmm. I'm sure most of us know how it looks like. Do you? Okay. No, this is So this is how the milk condom looks like. Okay. This is how the milk condom looks like. I'm sure we all know how it looks like. Mm -hmm. Milk condom. Here. Yeah. Okay. Then we also have the female condom. The female condom. Here is it. So we open, release it, 
this is how it looks like. So for those of us who have not seen it before, this is how it looks like. So there are two rings. This is the outside, this is the inner ring. Okay, so there are two rings. Okay, this is how the female should look like. Then, I, like I said, so it is only the male and the female condom that protects us from sexually transmitted infection as well as pregnancy. pregnancy. Okay. Of course, there are side effects. I don't want to. I don't want to be able to ask me that. There are side effects. Yeah. Just like every medication, side effects. But here, side effects is the normal expectation of the patients. Okay. So when you experience, so when you want to, when you have decided to have a contraception done, you go to the public planning unit where they give you your provider will give you a very good counseling mm -hmm. on the choices available, tell you the side effects, ensure that you are eligible. Okay, mm -hmm. ensure that you are eligible for the procedure, then they set the procedure. So of course you would know the side effects of whichever you have chosen. Mm -hmm. When and then your provider is also going to tell you when to come back for either review or when you feel that the side effects are overly over mm -hmm. or they are they are getting to a certain stage, you would come over. That is why it's very important not to just walk to the shop to say I'm going to get a Family planning method, you have to walk to a provider yeah. who will give you counseling and then can offer the service to you. Yeah. All right, would you teach us how to wear the condom? <laughs> yes, before I go on to teach us how to wear the condom, one of the things I want to tell our viewers here is that you would only you can only receive family planning method when you when the provider or the the service provider is reasonably sure you are not pregnant. Yeah. Okay. So if you are pregnant and you think that the contraceptive methods I've just shown you, when you wear them or when you when you fix them or you insert them, it's going to prevent pregnancy. That is a lie. Yeah. Some of the methods I've just shown even have some medicines that will even make sure your baby grows very well. So you don't <laughs> think that if you are pregnant and you come to the hospital and they ask you certain questions. And you are not very truthful. I can't say you lie. You're not very truthful to us. And, and you know, they go ahead and give you. It will not abort your pregnancy. This is a very important information I want our viewers to know. So you come to when you come to the hospital, feel free to talk to us about anything. Then, based on what you are telling us, we can we can come out to help you so that you you, you can have the best. I've, I've actually seen a baby, a delivered baby with IUD. I on know this what head. you are going to say. That is Photoshop. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen that before. I have been. Oh, I've I'm, seen I'm one been, before. I've worked in the labor world for over ten years. I haven't seen that before. So what you're saying, I don't know what you're saying. But people say that a lot. I see that on in, on the internet a lot. Just like you said, some people do go there in attempt of aborting, causing an abortion. Okay, so they take these family planning options in attempt to abort a baby. And like you said, some of them they will even strengthen the baby. So when the baby comes out, the baby will come with the IUD. Ah, so the, the emphasis here is on even young people who are sexually active mm -hmm. and have had a lot of myth and misconceptions about family planning methods. So it's very it's prudent for you to walk up to the clinic to the service provider feel free and ask questions. We are there because you would come, because of you. So if you do not come, you don't have work to do. So please come in, feel free, talk to us. Okay, and we'll give you, because these misconceptions out there are not entirely true. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and, and then there are solutions or there are management for some of these little or minor problems that you encounter. Then again, I want to emphasize that contraception is also to enable young people to make informed choices on their sexual and reproductive health. It's very important. You are supposed to make an informed choice. That is why we do not coerce people into taking the family planning, but we counsel you to make an informed choice. Exactly. So some of the misconceptions we hear almost every day, it's very common out there, is that family planning method is for those who are married. Mm -hmm. But early on when I was trying to define what family planning is, 
I say it's for individuals and couples. Mm. Yeah. Um, studies have told us that, or have proven to us that, it is very safe for people who are not married, but sexually active. So please, I want us to know that it is contraception use is not only for those who are married, mm -hmm. but for those who are not married as well, and would want to pre prevent unintended pregnancy as well as protect them, protect themselves from sexually transmitted infections. That is one. Again, people say that contraception makes you barren. Yeah, that's not true. Okay. For example, for the IUD. As soon as you take it off, the facility returns. It's the same for our implant, the same for the short terms. There I might be you. there might be a delay to return to fertility for some of the method, mm -hmm. but that is just for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. But truthfully, for most people who have had it before, so I will come and take it off because they want to have a child, mm -hmm. they always have. I mean, the, the, facility, the facility returns very little. Mm -hmm. So it's not true that contraception makes you barren. Others say it's a bit than a fibroid. Yes, I wanted no. to talk about that one. That is because a very serious one. If the one blood because... is not coming, where is it going to? Exactly. That means it's finding out. That is a very valid point. Mm -hmm. yes. So here is the thing. Once you walk into the facility and you speak to the service provider, they will tell you the anatomy of the womb, okay? And some of the methods, the medicine in the family planning method, the device, the device or the family planning method they have chosen, the medicine in it works on the eggs in quotes. You know that for women, every month we lay eggs. I mean, I'm being, I'm being little, Literally, yeah. you lay eggs, mm -hmm. and then if the egg does not meet a man's, a bear man's you and now the sperm, the sperm mm -hmm. or semen, mm -hmm. and then it cries. That is when you have your menstruation. Mm -hmm. But what happens in this family planning method is that the medicine that is used in this family planning method work in the womb or work on the egg where the eggs are. Mm -hmm. So one. It does not allow the egg to come out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once the you've taken the family planning method, or depending on the choice you take, mm -hmm. once you take that family planning method, the me the medicine in the method goes to sit on the egg. Yeah. So in that case, the egg will not come out to meet a sperm mm -hmm. to to form pregnancy. Mm -hmm. yeah. You understand? So if the egg doesn't come out, will you menstruate? Others say that if you have family plan, you don't have for my garden. It be. It, uh, I even family. learned the IUD can travel to the heart. <laughs> okay. So these are misconceptions out there. Okay. Even if it may happen, it's very rare. Very, very rare. Because look at the anatomy of the womb or the womb will be a CISNA. The thing we put in the womb will travel from the womb. <laughs> the, you know that the womb is an organ. This is how it looks like. So just imagine you put something here. The thing has traveled. Hey, if yes, it's quite rare. Okay. Others to say that it gives you high blood pressure. So what happens is that that is why so that you, you don't just walk into a pharma, into a, a drugstore or into any place and say me talk family planning method. Uba, when you come to the a clinic, the provider will take your vital signs, okay, or we check you, we check you, okay, yeah. and then there's a certain pill, it's a certain pill that we use to check if you are eligible, eligible criteria pill. So that's what we use to check, say, even though you've given us some history. The, med the medicine or the contraception method you've chosen, mm -hmm. is it good enough for you? Will it help yeah. you? Mm -hmm. So there's no way if you have blood pressure and we know and we check, it will give you some sort of blood. We don't do that. That is why you're supposed to come to a provider that will give you a very good service. Mm -hmm. So please, just feel free and come back to us anytime and ask questions. We are here to answer your questions for you. 
the last one is that they say it makes you a devil prolera. Yeah, it it makes you gain weight. It makes you gain weight in all the so, right places. So, so what happens is that um, studies say that some amount of weight gain. I'm not very sure, but I think it's up to two kg. I'm not very sure. Yes, up to two kg is allowed. Okay, but anything more than whatever I've mentioned, if I'm right, I need to confirm, but I think it's 2 kg. Anything more than that, it means that it's our lifestyle. You eat late, you don't exercise, you eat anything. I mean, so lifestyle, lifestyle will make you gain weight. And they literally will say that, say now you are comfortable. You don't think about, eh, I will get pregnant. So you are very comfortable. That's literally. So, so we grow fat. But seriously, uh, we need to watch our lifestyle and our family planning. Mm -hmm. Because it is there. And for some of the family planning methods, some amounts, very, very, very small amount of weight gain is allowed. But it doesn't mean that it makes you go out of proportion. So we need to watch our diet, exercise, and then live a healthy life. What about the fact that some people do it? They complain of bleeding after they've taken family planning action. So, so again, you know, I keep saying is some, there some, truth? some. Yeah, there there's, there's, yes, there's a truth, there's truth okay. in there. So, you know, I keep saying some, some, some. So it means that it's only some that might cause and some might not yes. cause. So depending on the method you have chosen, okay. you might have irregularities in your bleeding patterns. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that if you experience that, you would come with there's a management for it. Okay. okay. I will tell you what to do to make it normal again. But it doesn't have anything to do with your fertility. It doesn't have anything to do with your health. Mm -hmm. It's just how the medicine works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm encouraging us all out there to come out, come and give us your complaints. We are here to help you, mm -hmm. to sort you out anytime. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. That was really in depth. I believe you would attest to the fact that this was very, very detailed. Okay, we've learned so much, and once again, we want to thank her for taking time off her busy schedule to explain these things to us. Before we end this video, what are your last words? Okay, so I would like to say three main things. One. Contraception use is very safe for individuals out there. Do not say that family planning is for married couples, so I'm not coming out to have the service done. It's very important, even for single ladies who are sexually active. Mm -hmm. Number one, side effects will happen, but for some of the commodities or some of the family planning methods, once it's happened, please feel free to come back to the facility anytime take the number of your provider, your service provider, and then call so that you can you can also enjoy the contraception and enjoy a free and a responsible sex. Lastly, I want to say that our young ladies out there, abstinence is key. Abstinence is key. And if you haven't gotten there yet, please stay from sexual intercourse. However, However, if you're sexually active and you do not want to start making babies now, please use contraception. And please note that it is only the male and the female condoms that can protect us from both pregnancy and sexually transmitted infections such as HIV, AIDS, or malaria. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you very much. So, guys. There you have it. All too soon, we've come to the end of another educative episode. So, I would like to bring her back, depending on the comments or your questions you drop. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them down in the comments down below. And like she said, she subscribed to this channel and she does watch all my videos. So, feel free to put all your questions in my comment section down below. Feel free to ask any, any question or any clarification on the things that we discussed today in this video. Tell me guys, do you want her to come back? Do you want her to talk on a different topic? I mean, share your thoughts with me in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. 
till we meet again. Makramo, I'm out. Bye-bye.